So what helped me get to where I am today was basically a lot of the motivation from my instructors and uh, my parents, of course. Uh, just remembering that everything that we do today reflects on what's gonna happen in the future. So uh, that's what got me where I am today. My parents have always instilled in me uh, an opportunity to arise to the occasion when the gap was open. So if you saw somebody that needed help, you, you help them, you know, and even if you don't have it, if it's the last thing you have, you help them. And kindness goes a long way. My, my passion has always been to help people. And in the medical field, I could do that. I could help people. And I have to be probably in high school. I fell into the audio and video class by accident. I was studying to become a pediatrician and uh, accidentally fell into audio video. So my instructor is the one who kind of inspired me to continue pursuing a career in uh, audio and video. And learning what audio and video actually did and how manipulative it was in the community in a positive way, I could help people in that way. So in a sense, I'm still helping people just with different tools. What's happening is basically focusing on uh, furthering my education in the film industry and in the media industry. And of course, with the production company, I'm learning a lot more than I could have ever learned in a classroom since I'm in the real world setting um, with clients. And uh, basically everything that happens here at the MACA, I do in my company every day, implementing the tools uh, that you would see here in your own closet so like go with joe uh has ups and downs as every business would what gave me the inspiration to start my own business was people the people around me um, the need in the community for a production company that would give them high quality uh, video for a low quality price It's a process. Just like anything else you do, you start with a, with a script. Well, you start with a concept, then you move on to the script, then you have to start planning, and you have to print out sheets so that way anybody who gets in the film, they have to sign a waiver. Um, it's a big process, a lengthy process, but when it's done, there's a sign of relief and accomplishment. Uh, you feel so satisfied with the product. How I feel today, knowing what I've done in the past, is that there's still room for improvement. I've been doing this for about seven, eight years, and there's still a lot of room for improvement. I, I started from literally having an iPad and uh, no microphone to having drones and several cameras to choose from. So I guess the lesson you can take from my experience is that never give up, always give it 120% and be aware that you're going to make mistakes. The question is what you do with that mistake. I learned from, uh, high school when I was in Skills USA and I was an anchor I learned you know when you stutter when you mess up on a couple of words that you don't go back and you try to fix the word you just keep going and I took that to heart and I implement that in what I do every day so a lot of the obstacles I had to face um, were you know being told no because I started such at such a young age people didn't really take me seriously I started at the age of uh, 18, 17 when I started going out, venturing out and talking to clients. So people telling me that I couldn't do it, people saying that it wasn't possible actually motivated me more to get it done. And so if you, the worst thing somebody can tell you is no. And so I just took that as an, a challenge and trying to find a way around it and getting it done. So I guess the obstacles I faced did not inhibit me to do what I'm doing today because I didn't let them. It's all a mindset. It's a sense of accomplishment, knowing that um, I had a student who came up to me when I was barely starting out and telling me, you know, your videos make my day. You know, I love watching your videos. Uh, they encouraged me to do more. And because of that, that's why I continue doing what I do. And those people continue to inspire me to, to, to move forward. Even the people that kind of wanted to hold me back are the ones that come up to me and ask for assistance or the ones that come up to me and, and just, you know, congratulate me on, on where I'm at today. 
I would say thank you because uh, they inspired me to keep pushing forward despite being told no.